Hello everyone, and welcome to Wulpung, Wulpurgis, I don't know how to pronounce it. I said Wulpungus knocked always, but there's an R in there, so I don't know. Wulpur whatever the case, whatever the name of the, the night is, it is that time of the year, and oh boy, do we have a fun one ahead of us. I'm sure you can see from this, just looking at it, it is the Fairy Festival, but here are some other fun things. You hear that? It's the page sound effect from Library. Oh, I love that so much. You know what I love even more, though? This. This, this actually made me almost tear up, like, first time I saw it. And it's such a like a, a such a dumb little weird thing of just it's just a UI, it's just a UI element. But I have such a fondness and love for library that even this was able to get me a little bit emotional. But enough about that. Let, let's enter the Book of Fairy Festival. Um, I'm kind of taking an all rounder team, as you can see. I have already capitalized on uh, getting my. Sinclair, of course, I had to. I love him. And also taking a bit of an all-rounder team. Looks like uh, there's a few of the challenges that are tied to burn, so I'm bringing Otis. Not rocking, like, full burn team just yet, but I might if uh, if I need it. Otherwise, uh, both DC IDs are really good um, like tanking, and they have good sinking, and then they can do a little bit on their own. And then also bringing uh, Ryoshu because uh, she is the most, I would say, um, uh, let's take you off, don't want your passive activating. Uh, I would say Ryoshi is the most, the best standalone of the, the butler IDs in terms of like not needing to be in a sinking team to, to get her stuff going. Because she can just do a lot of good with just poise and her own self-generating stuff, so. That's the team comp I've got right now. May, may switch her out for Spice Brush if need to, but let's not waste any time. Let's just go ahead and get in there. Ooh. Uh. Ah. Whoa. How are these green lights still green? It is unlikely that it has completely evaded the influence of T Corp singularity. However, it can be said that this partial retention of color can be attributed to the fact that Wolpurgis well, Night is a transitionary moment in which numerous possibilities coincide. Makes sense. Lo, tis returned. This, well, well, whatever night. That, that was me earlier. Thank you, Don. Thank you. <laughs> oh, an additional volatility aside from Wilpurgis Night has been detected. Beer Dungeon 4. An additional volatility? Indeed. The entrance to a new mirror dungeon has opened. Oh, yeah. That. <laughs> I would I would have it never would have happened, but I would have loved a uh, a bruh from Heathcliff. I thought it was about time we got a new one. Happens every time we go through the bloody ringer. Didn't expect it to appear with the green flashes though. <gasps> oh! Oh, that's amazing! Holy smokes! I, I, I didn't even, I didn't even realize. And wow, that's such a even bigger change than like Ishmael for character. It's like physically like changing characters like Sprite. That's incredible. Oh, that just gave me chills. <laughs> that's amazing. Yeah, because Dante knows. Yeah. Because 
he can magically retain the, the memory. Thought I was going mad from tedium. Come on, let's go bash some sods. How nice. I like seeing some initiative from the centers. Miss Faust? Indeed. Let us move without delay. Dante. Bring us to the corridor past the back door. Got it. Two types of doors at once, huh? So, Fergus Knight and a mirror dungeon. these paper oh the that effect it's all sparky sparkly the radio frequency squiggly lines around the door I guess this new one doesn't connect to the lobotomy corporation like the last one did weird I think I'm hearing is that Jazz? I love these devs. I love these devs. Is that jazz? Is that just some snazzy jazz from the library? Boy, this is even a door? It's more like a window than a door, isn't it? There appears to be several shambling entities past the entrance. Guess I'll have to get in there to see what this is all about. Right, Faust? You are experiencing regular growth and capabilities. Faust considers this to be a positive development. Yeah. Ah, it's so nice to have our colors back for once, huh? Quite. There's an abnormality. So these things were what we saw in the pat what we saw past the window earlier. We are yet to be discovered. I recommend that we prepare for combat, manager. So Faust, I'm starting to get the hang of this Wolpurgus Knight thing in Please do continue. I think there's something different about these abnormalities. Can you explain why? Considering the nature of abnormalities, every encounter with an abnormality would be equivalent to an encounter with a summoned entity. Nevertheless, there exists a certain degree of difference when we encounter them in a refraction railway or a mirror dungeon. That is to say... We enter a site once known as the Library, a building that inexplicably appeared above a former L Corp's headquarters. In this exact location is said to be a space that exists within a book in which the abnormality resides. There it is, the frickin' music change. Quite. Yet this space is fairly distinct from the containment units we had witnessed before at one of the benches, the branches. It appears as though an ideal habitat has been established precisely for that abnormality's residence. A rather striking difference from the very limited space and un unaccommodating environment presided, provided by the containment units. Yes, we may compare this place to a terrarium. The abnormality inhabiting this place has transformed its environs to a form most suitable for its dwelling. Here are some comparisons that may make it easier for one to comprehend. A fish would fill this space with water, and a worm would fill it with, spa with space and soil. Hmm. Gotcha. So as long as the abnormality exists within this book, it can deck this place out with whatever fits its fancy, huh? 
It would be more accurate to say that an abnormality, once inside the confines of the Clyphoth deterrence, can rebuild its environments to fit its needs. Whoa. That's kind of like free housing, huh? <laughs> oh no. Book? Our journey hath brought us inside a book, thou sayest? The, 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 the library of legend that vanished like a mirage for truth? Of course she's a freaking fangirl for the library. I will add a preamble in the future to prevent such outbursts. I swear, if one day we get a black silence um, ID, I would I would actually like drop money to ensure I get that. Same with red mist, but mostly black silence. The enemies have detected us, executive manager. Yeah, let's get this over with first. Awesome. I love it. I love everything about it. Ah, we're in the library. Or we're in a book. It's in the library. Oh, scene one. Oh, amazing. Okay. Well, it's not super nice, but, you know, gotta start somewhere. Okay. Not super enthused, but... Okay, uh, let's have... Okay, that's good. That's good. Okay. Yep, cool. Do it like that. Alright. Uh, if I remember correctly... Yeah, I remember this boss. Uh, you just have to make sure she doesn't eat the, the masses, yeah. Okay, well. It's alright, it's alright, we'll work on it, we'll work on it. <laughs> okay, it looks like they aren't too hard to down, that's nice. Nice, okay. Oh! Yeah! Fire that bullet! Dark flame going. Okay, weak to slash. Good to know. Damn. Okay. At least everyone's getting. <laughs> That's so great. Ah, I love it. Okay. At least everyone is getting SP. It seems. What is uh, your third skill? The yellow one? Okay. And I'll do blue here. Perfect. Okay. I don't think I need to... Hmm. I don't know if I need to kill just yet. So let's just focus on trying to break the parts for now. Come on. Ah. Okay. It's not too bad. Okay. Endure to blunt, so I'll consider that going forward. Okay. Nice. Oh, look at Sunset Blade. Looks great. Nice. Awesome. Cool. Okay. That's a that's a st stagger there. Um, long lose now at three. Perfect. That means I get to reuse the coin. Let's have... Oh, nice. Nice, perfect, double dominating. Love to see it, as per usual. Uh, let's keep targeting this left arm here. Uh, gonna try and get the kill on that, see if I can get the, the coin reuse, and I'm gonna go for a uh, stigmatize. Good old fashioned stigmatize. Come on, yeah! Oh, big damage here. Nice, nice. When you get the, when you get the three reuses on that, ugh, oh, it's so good. Feels great. You have to kill her in 10 turns, apparently, for one of the challenges. It's, I think it's doable, for sure. Just gotta bring in, like, a... Uh, probably BL team, honest. Nice. Oh, so they don't die. Okay. 
Frick. Alright. If I'd known that, I wouldn't have had Ryoshu go in. Keep on here, Ah, okay, so that's... Okay, that's what triggers the predation. Okay. Interesting. Well, alright. So far, so good. Let's do... This. Okay. Nice. Okay. All right. Almost got the stagger there. Oh, Phil popped. Failed the clash though, but whatever. Working on it. Damage. Oh. Okay. Just gonna predate again. Okay. Well, that's how that works. I may as well try and go for the challenge where I have to get that. Um, and you have to get that like however so many times. Uh, let's go for yeah. Another one of these. Another one of these. And yeah, let's go for a. Uh, Oh, a three uses the coin on a head's hit. Hmm. Uh, let's just do more Sunset Blade. Okay, so it looks like you want to keep the... You want to keep the, the, like, the little adds like staggered but like not actually properly killing them. okay <laughs> nice big sunset blade there we go she got her full predation and now we just kill i assume nice all right perfect Look how that rolls. That, it's so crazy how high that rolls. <laughs> crazy. All right, nah, he's out of his his form now. Shame. Oh damn. Okay. It's like we're starting to hit the the ramping aspect. Oh frick. Point power minus five for every broken part. Well, might still be able to make this work. We'll see. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, oh, we're just gonna. Oh, we're just gonna kill her. Duh. Let's just kill her before she does the mechanic. All right, that should be enough. All right, go in. Easy game. Ah, oh, the sounds. All oh, the sound effects are so good. I love them all. That was way harder than I was expecting. Thus explains that we find ourselves in the library's past. We are participating in a certain repeated battle within the library. The purpose was to attain something called the realization of the floor of history. Wow! I love it. Um, yeah. Sorry, I don't understand most of what you said. Uh, how do they know about the realizations? I thought I would assume only the library. I thought the, only the librarians would have known about that, but interesting. Floor of history, huh? Are there other floors too? That appears to be the case. Yes, it can be extrapolated from the collected intelligence that the library is, like some normal libraries. Composed of several floors divided by subjects such as literature or religion. Hmm. 
Anything more you can tell us about the li that library fast? Something more detailed? Um... So you don't know about that just yet, right? I see that you've invited a certain degree of trust, intuited a certain degree of truth, Dante. I don't suppose there is any uh, more reason to, for me to remain evasive regarding this particular subject. Yes, I am yet to become a Faust who has access to that information. Yet to become. As your journey continues, I may also gradually gain recognition and access to further knowledge. One thing is certain, however. Faust regards this consistent, continuous improvement to be positive development. Dante. I see. Yeah, of course. It'd be really difficult to have information on the library unless you were in it, and most people that were in it didn't come back out, so... Yeah. Who knows? Maybe we'll find ourselves at the library one day. Just... Not even hiding the fan service. <laughs> Just throwing it in. Oh! Yeah, what if one day they we come to the library in this? Not gonna happen. That would be too that would be so insane. It would not happen, but God, one can dream. <sighs> Yay. Now we have predation unlocked. Let's go ahead and I wanna I'll see if there's anything different with this one. Uh okay, so I definitely want to keep you two. I'm going to trade out. Uh, I like Ryoshu too. I'll probably. I'll do more actually fine tuning later. Maybe I should have had. Um, maybe I should have had Sinclair in the first slot so he could. Uh, wow, alright, good start. Great start. Uh, awesome. Okay. <laughs> Try and get these guys staggered, but not kill them. If I'm understanding this correctly. Is that hitting? Oh, she can take it. Yeah, she'll be fine. All right, I guess I may as well aim for the right arm here. It's like getting the parts broken is uh, really important to the uh, continued survival of your team. Also, it looks like you kind of have to have Rodin in the comp because she has the assistant librarian buff, which is uh, really insanely good. Yeah, even though it's endured, uh, the sinking is worth it because it slows her down by a lot. Yeah, look at that. Barely takes any damage. Oh, you can let them hit. You can let them hit to uh, to heal. Nice. Nice. That is good damage, actually. Wow, they rolled an 18. Damn. All right. So maybe I can't actually, like... Eh, well, I don't like the bleed, but... Maybe there's something we can do here. Favor dominating. Damn. Okay. Flashing incredibly well right now, are we? Look at that. Um, shoot. Who's this going? Who's this hitting? Oh, struggling. That's rough. Probably just gonna have to take that on the chin. Uh, 
is for you. You. Let's get you both on the left arm here. I'm gonna let this hit, because I feel like it won't do that much damage. Nice, good roll, good roll. Love to see it. Oh, yeah, that'll be a stagger on the part for sure. Nice, love that extra coin power. Really good to have. Keeping her at three insight is invaluable. In my efforts. Nice. Look at these. Look at these rolls. I'm actually getting lucky for once. Sick. All right, black flames going. Good to see. A little bit of damage there, but no predation at all. Yeah, there's the pop. All right, there's the pop. Good stuff, good stuff. Still not doing very good on that aspect, but that's okay. Kinda wish he was clashing a little bit better, but you know, no one's perfect. Dominating, love to see it. Actually, let's move you there, you there, perfect. Just pile on to the right arm here. Let's have you take that, actually. There we go. That frees up Sinclair. We can then hit this. Let's have you magic bolt there. Okay. Please roll high. Okay, good. Yay. Nice. Stagger on him. Good damage. Oh, yeah. Look at that damage. Look at that damage. Love to see it. Let's get this part frickin' broken. It's staggered. Staggered. There we go. Ryoshi's doing Ryoshi things. Nice! Look at that. See, that's worth. You just... Oh, damn. She dealt... She dealt... She dealt damn it. She did predation. Okay. Well... It's not the end of the world, honestly. I can still make do. Okay. Looks good. Looks good. So we're going to start focusing on the left arm in terms of damage. That's dominating. Alright, great. Can hit that again. Let's have you left arm. And hit this one here with the sunlight blade or sunset blade. There we go. I wonder if I should just ignore the things in their entirety. Maybe that would help out more, but yeah, we'll see. I'm sure there's going to be strats that come out to for most efficient clears. That'll probably be today, if anything. The fan base is always really eager to dig into new content and figure it all out. Okay. So, I, I thought he didn't hit zero on the other one, so maybe it's literally just... it's under half. Maybe it's not hitting zero. Okay, Sinclair, you're not really giving me a, the best showing right now. Okay, it's just under half. Or maybe Stagger? Staggered. It is just stagger. Okay, so just staggering them makes it happen. Okay, good to know. Good to know. All right. So that being the case, everyone's targeting Rodian. That's actually fine. It's actually super fine. Don't even need to worry about that. Uh, let's just worry about getting these parts broken. If my mouse would work it. Here we go. Okay, so it's just the body. Alright. So I guess I'll start piling on damage just in general to the stuff here. Let's do that. May as well. Oh, get the reuse on the coin if I do it here. Awesome. Alright, damage. Stuff. The vulnerable is also really nice. I assume that's from getting the uh, prepared meat going. 
Nice. Good damage. Really good damage. I don't think either of these are going to stagger, so we're pretty safe. Uh, it's going to be close. Okay, we're good. Nice. Look at the reuse on that. Good stuff. I still haven't gotten the Sinclair's uh, big coin skill, which I really would like to, like to see, so hopefully we can get that going soon. Just the, it's just the healing ones. I mean, those aren't even that bad, to be honest. Like, you just kind of ignore the, the stuff for right now. Let's reuse the coin. And then let's hit one of these. Alright. Any damage. Sometimes just ending the fight faster is better. Wow, double tails roll at 45 sanity? I'm happy I didn't hit that on a freaking clash. Damn. Nice. Yeah, barely, barely an issue. Barely does any damage. Oh no. Oh no, the little bit of slashing damage. Whatever will I do? Terrified. Okay. Things are gonna get a little, little bit dicier now. Pop our magic bullet. Sunset blade. Big here. This one and this one. Let's go for it. Oh, it wasn't magic bullet. It was the other one. My bad. It's a little good though. Sunset blade doing good damage. Yep, insane damage on that as usual with Ryoshu. Oh. We're gonna kill? Are we actually gonna kill? You know, this is actually much easier than the other. This is much easier than, than the regret one. The regret one was freaking frustrating as heck. This was just R an RNG fest entirely. Uh, okay, we just kill. Good job, everyone. Shame I didn't get to see Sinclair's uh, skill three, but it is what it is. There we go. <laughs> that win. All right. Well, that is Walpurgis Night. Nice. So, um, that's Rodian's done. There we go. So, uh, I will also be putting out another video uh, soon. Uh, we'll probably release tomorrow. Uh, that will be on the Mirror Dungeon. I'll do a run, a full run of that because th there's a lot more differences between now and then Mirror Dungeon 3. So definitely want to experience all that together. Turn it into a little bit of a podcast thing. And of course, I'll be like doing all the missions and, you know, getting all that accomplished. They really made it a lot friendlier now because even if you have a um, an ID, like uh, I didn't put any anything into Dead Rabbit or Salt, for example, they automatically uptie 3 and level 45, the IDs. So even people that may not have as well leveled IDs um, can take part in the Walpurgis Night, which I think is really great. And I think that should be the cadence going forward. So yeah, it's really exciting. But expect the Mirror Dungeon video soon. And uh, this was just a really fun little trip down memory lane and nostalgia for me. So. I had a great time, and hope you did too. Uh, thank you all so much for watching, like always, and your support means the world to me. I will see you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.